So this is just a quick demonstration of some voice attack commands that I've uh, put together to control the signal in um, SOG Prairie Fire. So normally uh, to give a hand signal, what you do in Prairie Fire is you'd hit your tab button and that would bring up the hand signals menu and then you would need to basically go to the one that you need from any of these around the clock here um, and click on whichever one you want to send that signal to your team. And uh, once you do that, that will appear in the top left of the screen. So for instance, move right, click on that, and you get a move right signal up there. Um, that's a little bit convoluted, and you have to take your eyes off what's going on on the screen to do that. Uh, so you lose focus for a little bit. So I found it simpler to um, create voice attack commands to do all of that for me. So all of the commands are activated by the word signal. So if, for instance, I say signal regroup, Or I could say signal move right. Or I could um, use uh, more complicated um, groups of signals if you put some um, commands together with your team. Like for instance, uh, we have um, signal form wedge left. So that will put together a bunch of different commands um, that you need to work out with your team signal regroup on me signal form wedge left signal form file and uh, in order to do that um, you need to set up some screen coordinates for your mouse clicks uh, using voice attack which is pretty simple to do so it's just um, so a, a typical command uh, let's go for uh, one of the easy ones so signal attack So you put in what your voice command will be, so signal attack, and the first key press would be tab to bring up the menu, and I always put in a one second gap between each command. And then the next uh, uh, one to get your mouse coordinate set would be to use mouse and move, mouse move command, which will give you something like this. Um, and you would then um, click on the set position. Um, now I can't really demonstrate the next part because I only have one screen, so I can't do use two separate screens. So what I did was I brought up the uh, tab menu, and then I put a piece of sticky uh, paper, uh, just a uh, edge strip from um, a post-it note, on each one of these locations. So I could then just move my mouse underneath it to give me the proper location. So when I was moving for the attack menu, uh, what I would do is I would need to move my mouse to this position. So if I have a piece of paper on my screen right there, it doesn't matter what program I've got open, I can just move to that location. As long as I remember that's attack, that's regroup. And if you want to you can just write that on the actual notepad. So for instance, for attack, I would go to this location here. So that would be uh, somewhere like here. So for instance, let's say do that. So we would click on set position. We would then move a mouse underneath that piece of paper, whatever it is. And then as we see here, move the mouse to the desired location, press F8. So if my mouse position was here, piece of paper was here, I would then hit F8 and that would give me these coordinates. And I would then hit OK. But the actual coordinates are these ones here. So I'm not going to hit OK right now because I don't want to ruin it. So that would give you your set position and then you just click on OK. And that would give you your coordinates, pop in another pause and then next command would be click left mouse button. So if you do this one here, what I do is I set the timing to half a second, steps to 20. In fact, um, you can probably reduce that to 0.33 of a second, reduce that to 10 steps. Sorry, um, 10 steps and ease movement just makes it look a little bit smoother. And then once you've got all that set, so you've got your coordinates 
um, you've set your timing and your number of steps and your ease movement then click on OK and that will be it and then when you click on the left mouse button that would activate the command so that's the um, signal attack so let's try that out again there of the tab menu so signal attack So you can see that the uh, mouse cursor does actually move. You can watch the mouse cursor move. If you don't want to do that, then you can just take out the uh, tracking and take out the time, and it will just do it very instantly. But um, obviously, with armor and the frame rate issue that you sometimes get, it's probably best to set it a little bit slowly. So uh, let's say signal flank left. Signal form wedge right. So you can see it's quite smooth at that speed. Those road settings are 0 0.3 with uh, 10 steps.